After weeks resisting questions of his mental acuity and insisting he would remain in the race, President Joe Biden announced he's ending his campaign and will not seek re-election in November. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, he announced on social media just before 2 p.m. Sunday. Biden said while he had intended to seek re-election, he believes it is in the best interest of his Democratic Party and the country to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling his duties as U.S. President for the remainder of his term. Biden thanked Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner. In another social media post, he offered his full support and endorsement for Harris to be the party's nominee. Politically, it would be meaningful because these delegates are supportive of Joe Biden and they would certainly listen to him, but he can't automatically transfer his delegates to Harris or anybody else for that matter. Almost all 3,896 Democratic delegates meeting at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Illinois next month have pledged votes to Biden, who swept the primary contest in the country. But under DNC rules, those pledges can be changed. Calls for Biden to pass the torch grew louder in recent days, including from top Democratic lawmakers. 58% of Democrats think Vice President Harris would make a good president, according to a new poll from AP North. Overall, 30% of Americans think she would. If Democrats settle on Harris leading the presidential ticket, they must also select her running mate. Biden said he will speak to the American public later this week in more detail about his decision. Donald Trump, officially nominated by Republicans as their presidential nominee Thursday, issued his statement on social media. Crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.